let us study the trend in the stability of higher oxidation states. See what we find is that we know that fluorides and the actually the fluorine and the oxygen are the ones which are very strong oxidizing agents and they can oxidize any element, any metal to their highest oxidation states. So what we find is the transition elements also are existing in their higher oxidation state in the form of their fluorides and oxides. Now let us discuss their stability. Fluorides, yes, like we get, uh, we, can, we can have scandium in the form of SCF3, vanadium we have VF5, chromium we have CRF6. Like these we have fluorides, which actually combines with the first half of the 3D series elements and again, and their fluorides are existing in their highest oxidation. With fluoride, these elements are existing in their highest oxidation states like here, chromium is in 6 and uh, vanadium is in 5 and the chromium, uh, scandium is in plus 3. But what we find is this, that afterwards we don't find any element to be forming more than trifluoride. Even the manganese forms Mn, uh, F, what we find is maximum it can go is O3, F. F3 it can go or it can go, it can form MO3, F. So where it is existing in plus 7 oxidation state. The maximum fluoride with manganese formed is MnF4. So what we find is the fluorides are fine, the fluorides with fluoride these uh, transition elements are able to form the uh, uh, compounds and our uh, initial ones are stable in their highest oxidation state. But usually the fluorides ones, uh, the, these elements are not existing as a fluoride in their higher, higher, highest oxidation states. Rather, what we find is they are more stable or they are actually existing more commonly in their highest oxidation states in the form of their oxides Le like vanadium V2O5, chromium CrO4 2 minus or Cr2O7 2 minus, mag manganese Mn2O7, MnO4 minus. So all these are the examples what we find is that these elements are much more stable and are much more commonly existing in their highest oxidation state in the form of their oxides rather than fluorides. Now what makes their oxides which are much more superiorly stable in their highest oxidation state than fluorides is the tendency of the oxygen to form multiple bonds with these transition elements. Due to which they have less crowding as a result higher stability whereas in case of fluoride, since they have to form only the single bond, there will be more crowding and that is what we find that they are not very stable in their highest oxidation state. One very, another important property we find in their higher oxidation state is that, the, especially in case of fluorides, what we find is, the fluorides of these elements even in the lower oxidation states are not very stable. Like if we have the cop copper in, their, in its plus one oxidation state, it immediately shows disproportionate reaction and gets oxidized to cupric and gets reduced to copper. So these are the usual trends what we find in the higher oxidation states stability. Now let us discuss the magnetic properties of the D-block elements. Since the energy difference between N-1D and NS subshells is very less, what we find is the N-1D electrons are also available and that is why what we find is all these transition elements and the D-block elements, mainly the transition ones, are paramagnetic in nature. So they are paramagnetic in nature because of the presence of unpaired electrons, which makes them paramagnetic. I think we all know paramagnetic substances are those substances which an external magnetic field gets feebly attracted. Few of them are diamagnetic like zinc is dia, the reason being because it is having all paired electrons and when it is in external magnetic field it gets repelled by it. Their magnetic moment or their magnetic property is explained by using a spin only formula. So their magnetic moment nu is determined by using a spin on the formula which is under root n into n plus 2 and the unit is Bohr's 
magneton. So, uh, this formula is called spin only formula and we can explain the magnetic moment by using this formula.